It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Dubco and it's Abuse of Stout. It's 12% ABV in a 16 fluid ounce one pint can. It's a imperial stout with honey, cacao nibs, vanilla and coffee. Sounds amazing. It was sent to us by the wonderful Beer Bruvs. Please check them out. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. Oh, I've always cut my fingernails too small. Too short. Oh. There we go, that's better. It's like instant regret. Like why have I cut them down to the down to the bone? Oh come on, here we go. Hide my face. Look, I cut them right down, and it's like ah, it's really difficult to to get all of that can ring. Oh, look at this! Have a listen. Now, some of you. What happened there? Here we are. <laughs> some of you out there, some of you clever home brewers, you never know, we might have a few brewers watching. The way sometimes a stout, the head dissipates on a, on a stout or, um, or a porter quite quickly like that. Um, what I found is that it, it could mean that the, the beer might be a little bit thin. Um, maybe not, maybe not, but generally after reviewing beer for 11 years on YouTube, you kind of get that where it kind of, it hisses as it's dissipating. You think, oh, is the beer a little bit thin? Um, but describing the beer, it's a jet black beer in the glass, 12% ABV, um, good levels of carbonation. It looks like there's no light bleeding through there whatsoever. Let's get the aroma on the beer then. Oh, it smells great. Imperial start with honey, cacao nibs, vanilla and coffee. You get the honey. Like a mustiness, the honey, the chocolate, the cacao nibs, and some coconut or vanilla. It smells amazing. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's actually. Oh, it's actually quite a nice mouthfeel. Um, it's not as thin as I was first projecting it, it might be. It's actually got a nice, creamy, rich mouthfeel to it. Mmm. Vanilla, chocolate, cacao nibs, honey. You get all that, all that mentioned on the side of the can. Even the coffee, it's all coming through. It's all coming through. It's a really, really, really nice beer. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. It's really good. Um, I think I'm allowed now. I think I'm allowed to be able to, even when pouring a beer, give some kind of idea of what it might be like um, just by listening to the beer just by looking at the beer um but it, it proved me wrong it proved me wrong i was thinking this and even even looking at it in the glass i was thinking this could be a really thin what i find with thin stouts is that they can almost come across a bit like cherry cola 
they got that kind of cherry cola feeling to me with the 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 lots of carbonation and the 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 thinness of the beer but but as i mentioned earlier this is fine this is absolutely fine I like the vanilla. I like the coffee, the cacao nibs, the honey. The honey is a funny one. It's like a musty. It brings out like a musty flavour in the beer. If I'm honest, that's what I'm getting. Like a certain kind of unsure mustiness is what I'm tasting. But it's definitely the honey when you kind of nail it down. When you know you're drinking honey by reading it on the side of the can. Yeah, definitely. It, it works. It really works. Now we've got the whole beer in the glass, that head wants to stay around a little bit longer. Pardon me. Nice levels of carbonation. It's a good, it's a really, really good Imperial Stout. It's got a little bit of mintiness to it. Wow. Wow, 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 that. That cacao nib on the back end then, after getting the rest of the beer in the glass, it's given it's given the beer a little bit of a little bit more miles per hour. You get a nice warming sensation from the beer as the beer slides down the, the your throat into the pit of your stomach. You're getting that that kind of warming from the from the alcohol. It is, after all, twelve percent ABV. The roasted malt comes through quite nicely. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. Let's double check that. There is bitterness on the back end. A roasty, toasty kind of bitterness from the, from the roasted malt they've added into the beer. There's a touch of sweetness from the lighter malts to begin with. All in all, it's a really rounded, well-made beer. It really is. Um, uh, D-U-B-C, right, it's Destination Unknown Beer Company. And they're based out of Bayshore, New York City. Wow. Destination Unknown Brewing Company. Let's rate this. Good quality beer. So it's a little bit more than a British 440 milliliter can. It's a 1.16 fluid ounce can, which would make it in British money 540. 58 millilitres, am I correct? Comment below. Rating. Abuse of stout, let's rate it. It's really rather lovely. It really is. The honey, the cacao nib, the vanilla, it all just seems to work. I like that beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.